Hello everyone, my name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codename Bookkeepers. And welcome back to another SCP document review. And the SCP we'll be reviewing today is SCP-1600, object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures Samples of SCP-1600-1 are stored in the hazardous materials wing of Site-197 within a chamber constructed from a brass alloy with a 42% zinc content. All personnel interacting with SCP-1600-1 must wear level C hazmat suits constructed from SCP-1600-1 resistant materials to prevent accidental exposure. Samples of SCP-1600-2 do not warrant special containment and may be stored at the discretion of assigned researchers. Description SCP-1600-1 is an odorless dark yellow liquid recovered in 1998 from a Marshall, Carter, and Dark facility in Boston, Massachusetts. Chemical analysis have shown it to be a compound of sulfur, mercury, and several unidentified elements. The foundation currently possesses 53 liters of SCP-1600-1. All attempts to synthesize additional quantities have been unsuccessful. When SCP-1600-1 comes in contact with solid matter, it will transform said matter into a sample of SCP-1600-2. The transformation takes from 2 to 37 minutes per kilogram and is usually accompanied by heavy structural damage caused by differences in density between 1600-2 and the initial materials. A small number of materials have been found that are not affected by SCP-1600-1. Of those, brass is currently used in containment as the cheapest and most practical alternative. Refer to document 1600-M4 for the full list of immune materials found so far. SCP-1600-2 is an edible product highly similar to cheese. Coloration, texture, and flavor of SCP-1600-2 samples vary wildly based on the materials used in their creation. Consumption of 1600-2 is safe and will not cause any lasting ill effects, even in cases where materials used in creation of the sample have been poisonous or otherwise inedible. Addendum, partial testing log. And here is the partial testing log. We have the original material, sample appearance, and notes. Raw pork meat. Yellow, medium hard appearance. D class subject described the sample as having a distinct bacon flavor. Rotten meat. The color ranges from green to purple. Extremely soft. Subject was reluctant to consume the sample, describing it as foul. No symptoms of food poisoning have been noted after the consumption. Wood of an English oak tree. Dark yellow, hard. Subject described the sample as dry and crispy. 98% pure gold. Yellow, soft. Subject was unable to describe the taste of the sample beyond the fact that it was extremely satisfying. Subject requested access to additional samples repeatedly and became depressed and uncooperative after his requests were denied. Mercury, black, soft, and elastic. Subject described the sample as viscous and tasteless. No symptoms of mercury poisoning have been noted afterwards. SCP, dark blue, medium hard. Upon approaching the sample, subject stated that the sample was communicating with him, persuading him to consume it and describing its gastronomical values. The subject claimed that the sample advised him to consume it with a beverage. No beverage was provided to the subject. After consuming the sample, the subject described it as salty. No lasting mind-altering effects have been noted. Well, everyone, that's it for this document reading. A little shorter, but I haven't done any Marshall, Carter, and Dark document archiving yet, so... I might do a few more of these. And yeah. Thank you all for listening and watching. My name is Agent Paul of MTF Delta 7, and I will see you next week with another document review. Bye.